Welcome everybody to another episode of Monday Night Raw. We're live here in San Antonio, Texas. I am Mr. Rob. And boy, we have a big show for you guys tonight as we continue the build to SummerSlam, including a rematch from Money in the Bank, Bobby Lashley versus Seth freaking Rollins. Non-title though, in our Monday Night Raw main event it is going to be a packed show. We are packed here in San Antonio. But we're going to start it off with... The newest member of Monday Night Raw making his very first appearance as a member of the Raw roster. It is none other than man, man we saw at Money in the Bank. Braun Breaker making his way to the ring. Hope you're excited for this show. If you are, make sure you drop that like and you subscribe down below. Especially if you want more Universe Mode content that tells me you guys are enjoying it. And I love being able to comment and interact with you guys. But... Braun Breaker makes his way to the ring, no longer the NXT champion. He did lose that title at NXT's The Great American Bash TV Special this past week on NXT. If you didn't see that, it was a sensational show. Braun Breaker lost to Gunther in the main events. But now Braun officially on to a new chapter here on Monday Night Raw. We're going to see how does he get his Raw tenure underway as he takes on T-Bar to begin tonight's festivities. Steve Arvers, Braun Breaker to open your show. And we are ready to go. As both competitors in the center of the ring, Braun with a quick belly to belly suplex. Trying to catch T Bar early, but T Bar does kick out. This is not an easy contest for Breaker, as he's going to have a competitor that has the size advantage against him in our first match here in his Raw careers. If you're familiar with Braun, he is very powerful. He's very intense. His game is built around that high-octane, high-impact offense, mixing it with his power game and speed. And I don't know if he's going to have the power advantage against a much bigger competitor in T-Bar. Oh, we did see Braun Bringer get off to that hot start as now both competitors spill to the outside. Braun with more strikes, more right-hand fists as it rocks his challenger. And now they continue to battle on the outside. We did see Braun Breaker at Money in the Bank just nine days ago. He was named the newest member of the Raw roster. There was a mysterious spot. There was one final opening and Adam Pearce told us that it would be the newest member of Raw and it turned out to be none other than at the time the NXT champion Braun Breaker. He had a very good title reign. A couple of defenses unfortunately lost the belts but he's very excited to be here on Raw as he has double underhooks on the outside on T-Bar and just slams him to the ground so I'm very excited to see what he can do the sky is the limit for him right now he's actually up in the sky with a sit out choke slam from T-Bar on that outside as T-Bar count up to seven is taking the fight to Breaker not backing down and a lot of people will look at this as a showcase match for Braun Breaker but I mean that could T-Bar could feel a little offended by that you know Braun's getting the Superstar treatment right off the gates, and this is your chance to upset the system a little bit. I mean, T-Bar did come from that retribution background. They're all for upsetting authority in what is the norm, and what a win for him would be if he's able to upset Braun Breaker here tonight. Is just right hand and clubbing fist across the chest of Breaker as he just falls to the outside. Those are hard shots from T-Bar, who you mentioned has the size advantage in this contest, but Braun not one to give up lightly. He's going to counter. Throws T-Bar back in the ring. And now has the support of the fans on the outside, but T-Bar is going to go for a springboard. Try to catch Braun off guard. Unfortunately, he mistimed the distance. Crash and burn to T-Bar. That could be a big mistake. As now Braun gets him back in the ring. However, T-Bar is there, and he gets the upper hand. Now has Braun up and sit out power bomb. Big time move there. This could be a huge upset, but a kick out of one, and T-Bar a little bit surprised. Caught Braun with a huge power bomb, and only able to get a one count from it. And again, T-Bar throws Braun to the outside. So, not allowing Breaker to get out of the box here. Every single time it seems like Breaker's about to go for a move, T-Bar is beating him to the punch. He's getting one quick hold, grabs a hold of Breaker, and just throws him wherever he wants to go. As you can see, even again right there, Braun goes for the strike, but T-Bar quicker. Breaker does counter, though, and again, T-Bar cuts him off with the right hand. Now looking for that power bomb again, but Breaker slips out as T-Bar falls to the mat there. Now Breaker gets him up again. This time does get the jump on him. And there's a belly to belly again. A second belly to belly. And now Breaker showing that amateur background. The son of Rick Steiner. Former 
tag team here in WWE. Hall of Famers now as he got to induct his Steiner brothers into the Hall of Fame at WrestleMania weekend. Just a big moment there for Breaker, two-time NXT champion. As a kick to the midsection here, now looking pump handle on T-Bar, and he does. Pump handle slams him down. That could be enough to get the victory here. As it only gets a one count, though. T-Bar kicks out. Welcome to the main roster, Braun. This is no longer NXT. No disrespect to the competitors down here, there, but you know Monday Night Raw, a new brand. You know, want to show that you are not just a big fish in a small pond, but that you are indeed the real deal. As T-Bar just throws him across the ring again, just using the power and the size advantage that he has, and now just stomping away on the chest of Breaker, showing this is not going to be an easy match. And now lining him up, what does T-Bar have in mind? Braun staggers to his feet. And T-Bar with a big boot right on the jaw. Takes down Breaker. That connected flush underneath the chin. And then a big right hand now into the cover. This will be a huge upset. But Breaker has the foot underneath the rope there. So a little bit of poor ring positioning by T-Bar. Might have cost him a victory. And now just stomping away some more on Braun. The Breaker starting to get back in the match. There's a nice leg takedown as T-Bar... Now goes to the mat. Braun with a hold of the challenger. He's going to throw him into this far corner. Now has him up on the top rope. What's he going to think here? Is he going to think top rope Frankensteiner? And he does, but no. T-Bar with the catch and a power bomb off the top rope. We saw that come back to bite him at the Great American Bash. Does it cost him again tonight? One, two. No, he kicks out at two. We saw Breaker try that top rope Frankensteiner against Gunther on this past episode of NXT. Gunther was able to counter, and Braun lost the title that night. And now Breaker in defensive positions gets met with a big knee in between the eyes. T-Bar to stun Breaker in his debut, but gets two and two and a half as Braun Breaker shoots the left shoulder up. I really thought T-Bar was going to have it there. Knee connected square between the eyes and a springboard for good measure. But Braun, the resilient competitor he is, stays alive in this contest. This has turned into quite a fight. Breaker fighting for his life here. As now T-Bar goes for another springboard. This time a leg drop. How about T-Bar tonight showing what he's capable of. We haven't seen him in a spotlight feature in quite some time. And well, he's making the most of it here as he goes for a big splash and he connects. Braun's in a lot of trouble. He's taking a lot of offense in recent moments. T-Bar going to try to go to the top rope again. Braun is still down. He's going to turn around. What's he thinking now? Big corkscrew splash, but he misses. Braun rolls out the way. Went to the well too many times. And now knee to the midsection. Braun has a hold of T-Bar. He's going to lift him up. Plant a face first down. And now Breaker with the momentum as he's going to look to drag T-Bar away from the ropes could have done enough is he going to be able to knock off T-Bar here no he's not thinking pinfall there. he's going to think for this Steiner recliner can he get it locked in he does the Steiner recliner on T-Bar he's close to the ropes but not close enough Spraker just reeling back on that chin taking all the energy out of T-Bar who doesn't submit but has Braun done enough for the victory T-Bar can't reach the ropes gets two and that is going to be in a Braun breaker in a heck of a fight picks up the win here tonight T-Bar took it to Braun but he is victorious in his first match as an official member of the Raw roster good showcase performance for Breaker now as wait a second from behind that's Dolph Ziggler with a shot to the midsection of the kendo stick Ziggler Takes it to Breaker. We know the history between these two. Welcome to the Monday Night Raw, says Dolph Ziggler, as he lays out Braun Breaker. Well, now let's get into the matches here tonight. We just saw Breaker pick up a win over T-Bar. What's else on the card? Well, we're going to have Dewdrop face off against Tamina. Alpha Academy will take on the Street Profits. Carmelo versus Liv Morgan one-on-one. -on -one. And then Tag Action Champa and Riddle will team up to face Veer Mahan in theory. And then we'll see Bailey take on Nikki A.S.H. in one-on-one -on -one contest. In our main event we talked about earlier, Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley. Well, Tamina scores the win over Dewdrop. Street Profits win the de facto number one contenders match against Alpha Academy. Liv Morgan picks up the win against Carmella. And then Champa and Riddle are victorious over Ethereum Veer. Now it's time for Bailey versus Nikki A.S.H. 
Before we get to that match, backstage here, Edge and Damian Priest have ran into each other. As Edge, we saw him return at Money in the Bank, and he has one goal in mind, and that's taking it to his former stable. In the Judgment Day, he's found Damian Priest backstage, and he's trying to lay out the Punisher. Is now Edge with steel chair in hand. He's going to talk a little trash. Damian Priest is right in the crosshairs, and Edge with a steel chair is laying into the spine of Damian Priest, his former disciple. His edge has one goal in mind, and that's just to wipe out the Judgment Day. As now Bailey, you get ready for our next contest. Unsuccessful at Money in the Bank in that submissions match. Bailey had a one on one contest for the Raw Women's Championship against Bianca Belair. Unfortunately, she did tap out, but it was a gutsy performance. Bailey gave it all she had against Bianca Belair, but the power and the speed game of the champion was not enough. So now Bailey has gone back to the drawing board, and she has a chance tonight to rebound. As she has takes on Nikki Ash. Is now we got to start to figure out who is next in line for that Raw Women's Championship. Is Bailey deserve a second chance? This is wide open division, but obviously the key to everything is now Miss Money in the Bank Becky Lynch, who we saw win the briefcase at the pay per view. But Bailey here tonight wants to stake her claim that she deserves. Another championship opportunity. It's going to be no easy task, though. And she gets ready to take on the resident superhero here of Monday Night Raw. It is Nikki A.S.H., a former Raw Women's Champion in her own right, former Women's Tag Team Champion on multiple occasions. And she is almost a superhero. Seen quite a shift in character in recent weeks. Nikki A.S.H., Turned on the fans not long ago. She's trying to get back in their good graces. Nikki wants to show that she really is a superhero. She is a role model for the kids. She says she lets her attitude and her professional frustration get the better of her. The fans, you know, they're starting to come around a little bit. There's some cheers again. There's also still some booze. So it's going to take some time to heal those old wounds. But if Nikki A.S.H. wants to get back a win over Bailey. We'll go a long way here as we got one-on-one -on -one here. Bailey, Verky, Nikki, A.S.H. Our next matchup in tonight's affairs as we get underway. Both competitors lock up in the center of the ring as Bailey quickly with a takedown, wrenching away on Nikki. Center of the ring. As Bailey talked about her loss at Money in the Bank. She wants to get back in the win column. This will go a long way in that matter is she's up on perched on the top rope and gets a big splash down on Nikki who tried to knock her off but unfortunately was unable to as Nikki on the other hand hits the ropes now turn the tables on Bailey there's a nice senton splash there on the role model as Nikki we've also saw her at Money in the Bank backstage she tried to comfort Alexa Bliss as maybe you know we know the history between those two their former best friends former tag team champions together obviously they've been on quite different career paths in the past year Alexa Bliss denied that handshake but we also saw Bliss last week take on Becky Lynch and Lynch tried to attack Alexa after the match and Nikki A.S.H. came for the save so very interesting development there between Nikki and Bliss but right now she's got to focus in on Bailey, who has the upper hand Currently in this contest has a hold of Nikki and hits a nice suplex there. Down goes Nikki and now Bailey quickly up to the second rope drops an elbow drop. Bailey looking very good here in tonight's match. As you gotta remember, Bailey was out of action for over a year with that torn ACL. Yes, she did lose the Raw Women's Championship match at Money in the Bank, but she hasn't had many matches since her return. So maybe Bailey still there's a little bit of rust there. She's had, this is her only her fourth match since coming back from injury. So the more wins she gets, the more experience she gets, Bailey will become more and more dangerous. She now has a hold of Nikki, gets her back to her feet. Has another gonna go for another suplex, and she does. Another suplex down goes the superhero, and Bailey has looked very good in this contest. Now gonna let the fans know if there's one thing Bailey's gonna do, she's gonna tell the WWE Universe and Michael Cole. How great she is. She's now just slamming the back of the head against the mat. She gets her back up to her feet now. 
But Nikki with the counter kick to the midsection. This could be the opening she needs to get back in this contest. A couple of combination, and there down goes Bailey. And now Nikki taking it to the spine of Bailey, which we saw at Money in the Bank was the target point of Bianca Belair in that submissions match. We saw countless times Belair try to stretch out Bailey until she stretched out one too many times. 450 splashes, KODs, that spine and that lower midsection of Bailey was the target point. So I think it'd be a very good strategy for Nikki to potentially hone in on that part of the body. As right now they're just trying to stretch out the other ligaments of her opponent. And that also brings up the question, how 100% is Bailey? Is she recovered from that submission match? She took a lot of damage. Yes, it was over a week ago, but you know, we take that kind of punishment in a submissions match, it's going to take you a while to get back to 100%. Think about on the SmackDown side of things. Charlotte Flair lost her SmackDown Women's Championship all the way back at Backlash in a submissions match. Just hold that thought for a second. Bailey to Bailey to Nikki. This is enough to win. No, Nikki shoots that shoulder up. Bailey hit the Bailey to Bailey. She can't believe Nikki kicked out, but could be in a lot of trouble. Is now maybe lining her up for that next move. Kick to the midsection. She's going to look to plant her face first, than she does. Into the mat goes Nikki. Is that enough now for the victory? But no, Nikki had a foot underneath the ropes. A little bit of poor placement there by Bailey as she goes for a big elbow drop and Nikki actually moves out the way. So could that have cost her in this matchup? But how much does Nikki also have left in the tank? As there's a kick to the midsection and it's a slap to the face. Down goes Nikki for the ultimate disrespect. But no, Nikki still has some fight in it. She wants to show that fighting spirit. She is. Wants to be what an actual role model is, and that's just a good character for the kids to look up to, not just a name that Bailey likes to call herself. As she's taking it to her, focusing some more on that left arm. Now just straight right hand shots to the face. Bailey could be in a lot of trouble now as Nikki's starting to get the upper hand, but she does miss that knee drop. And that could be the opening that Bailey needs as a hold of her opponent takes her down from behind. And now Bailey going to try to shoot the cover again. Thinks she's done enough to get the victory here. Gets two. And no. Nikki gets the shoulder up. But that was a very weak kick out. Bailey thinks she should have got it. I thought she would have too. But she knows she's closing in on a victory. Nikki didn't have a lot behind that kick out. So how much does she have left in the tank? And I think Bailey's starting to realize that. Gets Nikki back up to her feet. Yeah, throw her into the far turnbuckle here. What does Bailey have in mind? She's gonna perch her up on the top rope. Bailey's gonna follow now. Hold on a second. Bailey to Bailey from the top rope. Down it goes Nikki. And Bailey could be lining her up for the final shot. Kick to the midsection again. And plants her again into the canvas. This time not near the ropes. And Bailey with the victory over Nikki SH who fought hard. But it wasn't enough. As that is a pretty statement win for Bailey. Yes, it got going in a couple of minutes. Nikki ASH did look good. She showed a lot of resilience. Took it to Bailey here tonight. But it wasn't enough to overcome a top rope Bailey to Belly. As now she can celebrate her win. As she looks to get that momentum back. But hold on a second. There's Becky Lynch, Miss Money in the Bank. As we saw these two have a stare down last week. Becky Lynch taking it to Nikki SH, and now Bailey has joined the fray as they dispose of Nikki ASH. Just despicable actions there between Becky and Bailey as Bailey gets to celebrate a victory. But hold on a second. Alexa Bliss is here with a steel chair, and she hits right in between the eyes of both Becky and Bailey. Alexa Bliss is here, and she is taking it to these two. Well, maybe there was a little bit of something between Cross and Bliss as a steel chair to both competitors. And Alexa Bliss comes to the aid of Nikki A.S.H. So, very interesting turn of events there. Maybe Bliss and Nikki have something going. And now it is time for our main event one on one clash Seth freaking Rollins, Bobby Lashley at non title. As this is a rematch from Money in the Bank where Bobby Lashley defeated Seth Rollins to retain the WWE Championship. Rollins told us last week that it was because he didn't have Kevin at ringside in that matchup. Kevin was nursing an ankle injury as Rollins has promised that Kevin would be here tonight to be at ringside for him. But as I see right now, 
Seth is walking to the ring alone. So not sure if Kevin is running late. Not sure if that ankle is still bothering him. And he's having a hard time making it to the ring. Or maybe it's just the fact that we are indeed back in Texas. And we know Kevin Owens' hatred for the state of Texas. Seth Rollins right now, though, is looking like he's going to go at it alone in this matchup against Bobby Lashley. As we have a huge main event. So regardless of who's at ringside, Rollins has got to be ready because he's getting ready to face the almighty WWE Champion who beat him just nine days ago at Money in the Bank to retain the WWE Championship. He looks like all business. Has no MVP at ringside, also for Bobby Lashley. So again, both competitors are going to leave the personnel in the back, it looks like, regardless of that was the plan or not. As Bobby makes his way to the ring, looks like all business. What a WWE champion he's been since winning the title in the triple threat match back at Backlash. He's knocked off The Miz. He's knocked off Seth Rollins. And now he looks to do the same thing here tonight. Improve. He can get two up on the Architect. That's not easy to do. But both the competitors are ready to go. We're ready for our main event non-title matchup. Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley. Here we go. Our main event of Monday Night Raw. As both superstars make their way to the center of the ring. But this time it's Seth Rollins who gets the upper hand. Nice German suplex looking to surprise the champ. I know Bobby Lashley kicks out. Seth Rollins came so close at Money in the Bank 2 beating Bobby Lashley on that night and wanted a rematch here tonight said that is because Kevin Owens wasn't at ringside as there's the ripcord knee quickly Lashley goes down and Seth Rollins maybe signaling that he can get Bobby Lashley here tonight but right now it looks like Kevin Owens is not at ringside for this match either so I'm not sure what is up with Kevin speculated during Rollins' entrance maybe it's the ankle maybe it's the fact we're in Texas maybe it's just and he's running a little late, but who knows? Kevin is not here tonight, so Seth Rollins again going to have to go at it alone versus Lashley, who didn't bring MVP again out for this contest. You know, MVP and Lashley say that they're still the best of friends. They still have each other's back, but it's still just a very interesting development that MVP is not accompanying Lashley to his matches at ringside because as we saw last week, as a whole other Quick cover here by Rollins. Gets one, gets two, but Lashley does kick out. As we saw on Money in the Bank and last week, MVP actually at ringside for Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. And last Monday night on Raw, they beat the Dirty Dogs to win the Raw Tag Team Champions. So MVP obviously paying dividends for them. Not sure why he's not here with Lashley. What is the future between the former Hurt Business members? Has Lashley had any conversations with Cedric or Shelton or is... Lashley just content to allow MVP to do his own thing, and he'll do his own thing while staying best friends. Only time will tell. But Lashley's got to keep his focus in on this match. As Rollins has had a hot start, this seems like Bobby is starting to get back in this one. A nice power slam, and now taking it to Rollins. But Rollins is back to his feet from behind, and is going to take down Lashley. So Lashley, again, just took his eyes off the prize for just a minute. And it might have cost him non-title matchup here. If Rollins is able to knock off Lashley, though, you have to think that Rollins has done enough for another title shot, but Lashley with a quick spear almost cut Rollins in half. Didn't have a lot of momentum behind it. So we'll see how it works. This is also Lashley having a hard time dragging Rollins away from the ropes. Now we're going to go in for the pin, though, but a lot of time has been wasted, but only gets a one count. So Lashley connected with the spear, so you know Rollins is feeling that damage, but it's Still able to fight on. And now oh, goes for a kick to the midsection. Seth counters. He counters with a kick of his own. And now the visionary from behind. Another elbow strike right into the back of the neck. And now Rollins starting to feel himself here. As Lashley gets back to his feet. Both superstars lock up again. And now Rollins going to go for it again. He does. A third shot to the back of the spine of the champion. And now Rollins could be lining him up for that stomp. And he connects with a stomp. Down goes the champion, Rollins, to knock off. Lashley gets two. And no, Lashley shoots the left shoulder up, stays alive in this contest. Rollins thought he had it with the stomp. Three elbows to the back of the neck. As you can see, Lashley with a lot of fight in him now quickly. 
showing that matte amateur background that he has. A couple of strikes there to Seth. As he waits for Rollins to get back to his feet. But Rollins quicker to the punch. And a nice insiguri down goes Lashley. Connected right on the button. As now Rollins has a hole. Was he thinking here? Just stomp to the midsection. Wearing down the champion. He's going to get him back to his feet here. Kick to the midsection. Now thinking it looks like pedigree. And he connects. A pedigree now to Lashley. Down goes Bobby. As Seth looks to drag him now to the center of the ring. Could be wasting a little bit of time here into the cover. Is this enough to knock off the WWE Champion? He gets two. And no, oh, Lashley gets the shoulder up. As Seth wants a faster count from the ref. I don't blame him. You want to be able to knock off the WWE Champion when you can. He'll be trying to set him up for another stomp. But Lashley counters with a huge Lariat. Down goes Seth. And now it has a hold of the visionary spine into the turnbuckle and Lashley could be getting the momentum here tries to lock in a submission here looks like a vice grip here on Rollins is Rollins gonna tap no he's gonna fight out kick to the back of the neck that injured neck that we've seen Rollins target tonight and now a couple of strikes both competitors back to their feet super kick down goes Lashley right underneath the jaw and Rollins could be signaling for the end but maybe getting a little bit too excited because Lashley's back to his feet and now has Rollins up for the Dominator and he does the Dominator down to Seth Lashley into the cover gets two but no Seth Rollins still kicks out as his hubris almost cost him the match but now Lashley is in firm control Gets Rollins to his feet, kick to the midsection, maybe thinking Dominator again. And he does this time with a little bit more emphasis to it. Lashley, after a second, Dominator gets two, and he gets the victory. Bobby Lashley knocks off Seth again here tonight in a true one-on-one -on -one contest. It seems like Lashley just has Seth's number. Regardless, Kevin Owens not at ringside again, so Rollins, we can just imagine, is going to play into that excuse. We'll have to follow up. Where was Kevin here tonight? But cannot deny another victory for the WWE Champion, who's looking very, very strong going into the biggest party of the summer. Bobby Lashley will be at SummerSlam. We still got to decide who his challenger may be. But Bobby Lashley, whoever stops, steps to the plate, is looking pretty dominant here tonight as well, hold on a second. No way. You gotta be kidding me. It can't be. Is it? It is! Brock Lesnar is here tonight in San Antonio. We haven't seen the beast since Backlash. But Brock Lesnar is here tonight. And he's making his way to the ring. Bobby Lashley still in. And Brock Lesnar is stalking his way to the ring. The Beast has returned here tonight in San Antonio, Texas. The roof is almost blown off of this arena for the arrival of Brock Lesnar, the former WWE Champion who lost the title back at WrestleMania. Never got a one-on-one -on -one rematch. He got his rematch in that triple threat match at Backlash. As but Brock Lesnar you have to think is here tonight for a reason as he's looking to confront the WWE Champion what does Brock Lesnar have to say to Bobby Lashley as wait a second up on the shoulders I don't think Brock's gonna say anything other than an F5 statement to the WWE Champion Brock Lesnar has laid out Lashley here tonight and I think Brock Lesnar's intentions are very much clear Lesnar wants another shot at the WWE Championship. That's all we have time for you guys tonight as we continue our march towards SummerSlam in Nashville, Tennessee. The biggest party of the summer is going to be the biggest show that we've had so far on the channel. And we can confirm our first match from the Raw side of things. It will be The Miz taking on Logan Paul one-on-one, -on -one, former tag team partners in Logan's first singles match ever in WWE. That one is going to be a show. Well, next episode will be NXT, and after their win at the Great American Bash, Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez get their shot at Toxic Attraction in the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. That'll be live tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Monday Night Raw. If you did, make sure you leave a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more Universe Mode content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.